Hello, my name is Garrett Black. Today I want to present to your attention my presentation. This presentation is my homework for the University of Barcelona in the subject CLIL – Content and Language Integrated Learning. This presentation will also be interesting to English teachers and students who are planning to become teachers. Enjoy watching! CLIL as a synergetic approach. Walking towards a cohesive conceptual tool and influenced by the early work of Mohan and his knowledge framework 1986, Quill 1999 developed the Four C's framework. This framework differs from the standard based world language education strategy standards for foreign language learning in the 21st century, published by ACTFL, American Council of the Teaching of Foreign Languages, which focuses on the language curriculum. Although some interesting links can be made, for example, communication, cultures and connections, there is a difference in emphasizes since the starting point is language education. The Four C's framework for CLIL starts with content such as subject matter, themes, cross-curricular approaches, and focuses on the interrelationship between content, subject matter, communication, language, cognition, thinking, and culture, awareness of self and otherness to build on the synergies of integrated learning, content and cognition, and language learning, communication and cultures. It unites learning theories, language learning theories, and intercultural understanding. Language triptych is a conceptual representation of alternative approach for using language to learn. It has been constructed to take account of the need to integrate cognitively demanding content with language learning and using. It provides the means to analyze language needs across different call contexts and transparently differentiation between types of linguistic demand which impact on call. It also provides a means to conceptualize language using as language for knowledge construction. The triptych does not replace grammatical progression, but rather enhances it. It supports learners in language use through the analysis of the cal vehicular language from three interrelated perspectives. Language of learning, language for learning, and language through learning. Cognitive Processing and Language Learning Classroom communication and interaction between peers and teachers are essential for learning. Dialogic learning involves Ensuring learner engagement Focusing on quality discourse between learners and teachers Allowing learners to discuss their progress with others Integrating feedback into classroom discussion. Encouraging learners to ask and answer questions. Making meaningful interaction and fundamental aspects. Now the pedagogic dilemma arises. What might happen if dialogic learning occurs in a setting where learners are encouraged to derive their own meanings from activities that require interaction with peers and the teacher in the vehicular language. We need to ensure access to the proper use of the learning context. An additional, alternative approach will be needed to support language in the CLIL classroom. Conclusions of the other authors Lister, 1987 supports developing a new linguistic system for immersion programs that combines communicative practices 
with a more structured and tiered language component tailored for L2 learners. Snow, Matt and Janacy, 1989, proposed distinguishing between content obligatory language, essential for understanding the content, content comparable language, which enhances the content of the lesson and aligns with the linguistic and cultural goals of the curriculum, allowing teachers to strategically plan their language and content objectives. Language of learning. Language of learning involves analyzing the linguistic knowledge students needs to acquire fundamental understanding and skills related to the content of the non-linguistic subject. This analysis encompasses contact analysis, thematic requirements, such as the language of science or curriculum discourse, and syllabus requirements, including grammar, vocabulary, structures, and functions. For the subject teachers, that necessitates a clear understanding of the linguistic demands of the subject or content in the vehicular language. Let's provide some examples. Language of describing, defining, explaining. Future or conditional tenses, using the past tense for authentic purposes. Cause-affect language. Modal verbs for prediction. Key vocabulary phrases. Language for learning. Language for learning enhances students' metacognitive skills and contextual speech in real life situations. Necessary for students to function in an environment where a foreign language is used, allowing them to develop a range of speech acts related to the content. They should learn to use the foreign language to ask questions, debate, memorize, give descriptions, express opinions, work in pairs, etc. Quality learning cannot occur unless learners can understand and use language that facilitates their learning, mutual support and receiving support. Let's provide some examples. Writing a simple research report. Presenting evidence. Language for arguments and disagreements. Language to project work. Language through learning. Language through learning encompasses the acquisition of knowledge, skill development, and cognitive growth. Involves an active link between language and thinking. Without this connection, effective learning cannot occur. Learning is deepened when students express their opinions, and language is developed through oral expression, dialogic, and interactive tasks during classes. The CLEAL classroom requires a level of discussion, interaction, and dialogic activity that differs from traditional content classroom. Discourse creates meaning. As we acquire new areas of knowledge, we acquire new areas of meaning. Mohan and Van Nyersen, 1997. New meanings often necessitate new language. This approach encourages teachers to identify and utilize emerging language in its original, nature context. Let's provide some examples. Using feedback, dictionary skills, questioning and answering, extending presentation skills, recycling discussion skills. Let's summarize our presentation. Planning the language triptych in advance is essential to make language visible to lesson participants. This approach ensures that language is closely tied to the lesson topic, 
rather than teaching isolated words. The triptych should be planned daily, aligning with the lesson's content and language objectives. The language of learning and language for learning are predictable and should be planned accordingly, while the language through learning is unpredictable and should be addressed as it arises.